The best email open rate for sales emails, zero. I'm totally serious. Tracking open rates lowers email deliverability and it actually puts your email sender reputation at greater risk. Plus, not tracking open rate actually increases your reply rate. It is literally possible to get 7 to 10% response rates and even higher. Best of all, you can worry less about that damn subject line. Welcome to the new Open Rate Zero movement. Let's dive in. Now, what I'm about to share with you, you've probably not heard before because, well, there's not a lot of money in my telling you this, guys. Here's what has changed and how tracking email opens is actually hurting your ability to get into the inbox. Jesse Willett of Lead Magic recently said the quiet part out loud. Open tracking does not track opens. It tracks opens plus number of proxies which click on your email randomly. Now, ever since he said that, LinkedIn has kind of exploded with more and more people admitting the truth. Open rate tracking is basically lying to us. And instead, there is a better way to track. Aside from my own experience confirming this, there is nobody who I trust more than Jesse on the subject of getting emails into the inbox. Jesse is constantly doing the research and the more that he tests, the more strong his conclusions are becoming. Using open tracking of any kind is actually increasing your chance of getting marked as spam by three to four times as compared to the strategy that he recommends. Now stay with me for that part. Shutting off email tracking does not necessarily mean that you have to give up tracking how people are interacting with your emails. There is actually a workaround. Bottom line, not tracking open rate creates more response from prospects because you actually increase the odds of reaching the primary inbox more often. You will avoid being sent to spam more often and avoid being shoved into tabs like Google's promotions tab. Guys, Google, Zoho, Microsoft, Yahoo, and others are making rapid and successive changes to email rules to make sure that more cold sales outreach emails get marked as spam. Google is really cracking down, guys. And remember, Google Workspace has 85% of the business email market, 85%. And recently, the company started marking all hidden HTML pixels as dangerous. Now that is important because that is how email tracking works technically. And this is what it looks like. Images are hidden. This message might be suspicious or spam. Guys, take a look. Does that really prominent position of the report spam button increase the amount of people who click it by three out of every 1,000 recipients? What do you think the odds are? Because that is Google's new spam threshold. Now that is a totally different subject and if you need more details on that new rule, leave a comment below so I can send that to you. Otherwise, shut open tracking off. All email open tracking software uses a one by one transparent HTML pixel sent inside the email. That is the hidden image. Whether a human or a machine opens your email, when that image loads, it reports a positive open to you. Now, if it's a human open, that's great. If it's a machine scan open, well, you can't really tell the difference. And that is because anti-spam software creates opens also. And that is bad for your brain because that is a false positive. Average false positive rates lately are around 40 to 45%. So if your prospects use iPhones, it's even worse since Apple's new privacy protection preloads all images, all of them. Bottom line, open tracking helps you kind of believe that emails are being opened when they're not. And even worse, we make follow-up and subject line decisions based on these false signals, this false data. Open tracking software cannot consistently prove that a human being is opening your email. <laughs> 
Plus, it is a security risk to your customer's email service provider, and this almost guarantees that your emails are gonna end up in spam. Now, if you are so addicted to open tracking that you just can't get enough, there are two options. You can track activity with landing pages and or you can start sending hyper short, provocative text only emails, which take calculated risks. Now, I want you to see my free crash course link in the description down low for details on getting started doing that. Otherwise, Jesse recommends people go forward by tracking activity server side with your own landing pages. So in other words, use links inside your outreach emails and use content oriented landing pages to track the activity of your prospects, monitor click through rate, but also what they read, videos that they watch, how long they're on the page, all that kind of stuff send people to your web server or your third-party landing page tool and track each person's activity using anonymous user IDs. So it's easy for your resident geek to set that up for you so you can track that back to individual prospects. Guys, plain text emails get delivered to the inbox more often because of their simplicity and their alignment with what email service providers and your customer's IT department expect from legitimate personal communications. Plain text sales outreach emails get superior delivery because open tracking software is not being used. In plain text, there are no images, there's no graphics or stylized text. Because of this, plain text messages are less likely to trigger spam filters or send you to the promotions or the social tabs. Plain text email appears more personal and direct, just like genuine one-to-one -one direct communications. This feel increases the likelihood that they'll be placed in the primary inbox. All right, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jeff Molander and I study how the most effective sales outreach messages provoke curiosity, leading to more conversations. If you're curious about writing text-based emails and using curiosity to engage, take the first step. Get started right now by changing your outreach strategy in my Curiosity Crash Course. There's even a lesson dedicated to subject lines, which is going to, well, kind of blow your mind a little bit, okay? I promise. So all the best and see you in the next video.